I do. I have um, a CPD e-portfolio that I have now, which um, comprises of a couple of different e-portfolio stories that I've got. And it's I have a front e-portfolio now that links back to my teaching ones because I still use things that I use there. It now has um, my sort of first year teaching e-portfolio behind that, so you can click on a link and it'll take you to there. I'm doing some PhD research around e-portfolio, so for my personal development planning around that area, I have a whole section of sort of skills audits and RSS feeds of news that I keep up to date with. So my e-portfolio is now a sort of research one-stop shop that I use, as well as it recording all the things that I'm doing in my practice and useful um, things that I come across that I can then share with others. So, and to be honest, I. I still look back at my PGC portfolio because there's things in there that I use that if that was a paper-based portfolio, it would never see the light of day again. But yet, to me, it's still a very current part of my learning journey, and so it's still part of my uh, CPD record.